Uh, I was checking the email today, and our friend, our friend, Murad Luha, you might remember our friend, our MVP from Germany. The last year or two, he's put together this kind of this World Cup Excel template, or this world, this kind of this interactive thing where you can go in and kind of put in your predictions and all this sort of stuff. Well, he's not doing that this year. And uh, our friends, uh, I got an email today from our friends over at uh, our friends over at spreadsheet1.com and the spreadsheetguru.com, where uh, they're going to. Uh, Put out something specifically for the FIFA 2004 World Cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my desktop and walk you through this real quick. Okay, so there's, there's a few places you can go to get this. Uh, first off, you can go over to the Spreadsheet Guru, and man, there's a it's a pretty long URL here. Uh, but if you scroll down here, this is the FIFA 24 World Cup Excel template, and I'm gonna I'm actually gonna pull this spreadsheet up and walk you through it. Also, you can find it over at SpreadsheetOne.com forward slash and there's a big not a long URL here but in here there's a big old download button and, and the thing is the guys over at spreadsheet one have this commander ribbon or this ribbon commander and uh, they basically built what I'm going to show you here this little uh, this little sexy part right up here this, they built this in ribbon commander so once you hit that download button here's what comes up so first off you have uh, across the top here they have venues, teams, matches, and about. So we're going to hit on venues. We select venues. You can select on any of these, and you see as you hover over, it gives you the actual, gives you the actual stadiums yep. here. So go ahead and click on that one just wow. as an example. If we click on that, it actually opens up and takes you to the destination. <laughs> well, first off, that's kind of slick. But wait, yes, it is. there's more. So, come on over here to Teams. So if you click on Teams, you can do either all countries here and go through all those. And let's just go ahead and, uh, or you go through the different groups. Let's go ahead and hit on USA, USA. And we hit on USA, and we'll say, I want to see who the midfielders are. And there's a few names here. Let's see, uh, uh, Michael Bradley from Toronto. We'll go ahead and click on him. And when we click on him, this is going to take us to his Wikipedia page. So you can get all the information about all the different players. But wait, all the different there's players. more. Uh, absolutely. And so in addition to the teams here, uh, you can also go over to the matches. Now here's the cool part with the matches. So you can kind of click on here, you can play around with this. But um, what this does is it takes you to these to the different groups. And you can come in and you can make your own predictions of what the scores are going to be. Right, and so in the first team, the second team for the first round here for the different groups, you know, I went ahead and put in my predictions of the scores uh, just to kind of fill this out, you know, for group A, group B. Exactly. But you get the USA. So let's just go ahead and fill out the USA one because, uh, yeah, that's what I love. And, and for my friend Murad Luha, I'll give uh, Germany a nine here. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, Portugal, yeah, we don't like those guys. We'll just kind of tab through this real quick. Three, of course, USA's got a nine. Germany, zero. Ghana, one. USA, huh. They probably are going to score nine. One. Uh, USA, huh. I'll probably score nine. So I, I should score no, through this. Go ahead, Oz. Soccer season. I want it um, here. Um, anyway, <laughs> can you can you um, put in something like a like a J or a negative four and check the validation? Oh, good Lord. You, you, you're going to test me here, aren't you? I think I ah, did. Ah, yeah. Okay. So, so let's move on now. So we got. So now we're going to go to the knockout stage because uh, there's more to this. Oh, yeah. So we'll come over here to the knockout stage. We're going to click on that. And now we got, since we put in our scores, I'd already pre-populated this. But the USA has moved on to the next round. So I'm going to say the USA gets a 9, it gets South Korea a 1, and we're putting in all of our predictions. You see that automatically populates here. Yeah. Now we're playing yeah. against Iran. Man, Iran, I'm, if I could give them a negative, I'd give, I'd give them a 1, my friends in Iran. <laughs> yeah. USA, USA, USA. And so we'll move on through, all the way through here. Oh, man, we're scoring 9 time after time. We just absolutely rock here. And 
Maybe these guys have won. And basically what this allows you to do is fill out your pretty much your entire bracket yeah. here. Yes. For this. It's and you can once you get done here, you can come down here to the return to group stage and you know you can come in and just kind of play with this. So it basically allows you to build out. So here's the thing. So go out to spreadsheet1.com and the spreadsheetguru.com and check this out. Go ahead and download I me. Mean, Oz. A lot of people like soccer, man. Yeah, it was like I mean, whenever Moran Luha put this out, man, like hundreds of thousands of people downloaded this. This, I think, this is pretty awesome. Go check yeah. it out. These websites. It that is. is my news of the week. All what right. you got, Jordan? All right. So, um, I have uh, our friend of the show, uh, Sylvia Yuhas. So, Excel TV friend of the show and um, PhD Excel historian. Uh, she wrote her dissertation on Excel history, and I know that she actually gave us a um, a press release. She's she has written several new jingles, uh, four four new jingles uh, to be exact. And um, uh, let me just make sure I tell you where they are. Um, they were featured. They're for the Mr. Excel podcast, three of which were featured in episode um, 1,886. Man, that's a lot of episodes. And you can go on. Remember to go look at this uh, episode. Let me uh, screen share real quick. Yeah, his episodes are only two minutes long. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> three of them were featured on there. Yeah. It's not. It's not like us. So you're you're in and out with his episodes. So she's written some awesome new jingles. If you, I know you've heard your jing her jingles before. Uh, Santa Baby um, was one of them, and. Um, <laughs> They're, they're really good, and I think she also has one. And let me make sure I get this press release correct. She also has one um, for the Dueling Excel guys. So that's coming up. It's um, Studio Featurette is currently in production um, for the uh, Dueling Excel theme song. So um, so that is, the, that is the awesome Excel news. She's a friend of our show, so make sure to check her out. Um, it's coming are we going to get here early July? Are we going to get Are you going? Um, I'm not really what? sure how to do that through here. I feel like it's going to have to come out through my speakers, and it's not going to sound good. So you should all check it out. Um, uh, you, you know, know she's URL very talented called. on the. What's up? Just just type in uh, type in her name and jingles, and I'm sure it'll find it. Yeah, Bing might even find it. Excel jingles. Do it, okay. do it. Come on, Jordan, give it a shot, man. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Let's try it. Let's try it. We're gonna try it on the um, system information, but let's go ahead and try it. All right, let's let me see here. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna unplug and hopefully it'll come through uh, the speakers, so this is kinda awkward. Sorting power pivot dates. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellin. So that was the first one. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure where they come about in the later part. So I don't know if we want to put our re our listeners through um, the entire Mr. Excel podcast. It's kind of right. weird to watch a podcast within a podcast, you know. <laughs> well, we'll let, 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 me, um, let me just share this with you just one more time. Make sure to take a look at this. Um, it's the Group and Sort Dates and Power Pivot uh, podcast, 1,886. Right. So that is, that is the Excel news I have for you, my dear uh, <laughs> audience. Right. John, Tom, Oz, do you have anything to share before we move on to Shameless Plugs? No news from me today. All right. 